Welcome to the Great Sound Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And we have a beautiful guest with us today. He's pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty <laughs> tired. I'm Mr. X. <laughs> Let's crack into another one. All right. Uh, Mr. X has something for Mr. us. Mr. X has I got something. Some. All right. So I wanted, I, I wanted to bring this up to you guys because I've, I've, I've noticed this over the last couple of years, right? Okay. okay. So now, now I don't, Jonas, you're not on social media. Are you, you're on a little bit TNT, right? Uh, a little, a little, little Reddit, a little, little Reddit, a little Yeah, X. not like official, like Facebook, like, yeah, that kind I don't of stuff. post pictures. So did either of y'all, when you were in high school, did y'all go to prom or homecoming dance type stuff? Did y'all do that? Yeah. I went to one thing. You went to one of the, I did, went out and partied. Did instead. you take a date? Uh, yes. Okay. When you asked that date, mm -hmm. how did you just like, hey, you want to go to the dance? Well, it was the 90s, so I probably said something like, hey, bitch, you want to go to the dance? Fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's, fine. That, that's what I'm asking. It's like, how, how did you, do you remember? Like, did, uh, it was, it was, it was like a friend of ours that didn't go to our school. So like, I asked her to go with me so she could come okay. and hang out with us okay so. mm -hmm. all right so apparently today kids yeah. today the only way to ask people to prom or right right now it's homecoming like i'm seeing they do this oh homecoming. fall homecoming spring fall homecoming yeah, it's, yeah. right it's fall it's homecoming season like that's what they're doing right now and i see this stuff on on like instagram or whatever like they they call them prom posals Oh, and good. basically it's like a gender reveal it, no it well it's it's an event it's like you put together this whole elaborate production to ask somebody to go to prom it's or like homecoming with holiday. you it it is and so you'll see these kids doing these huge like productions where they'll like get people involved and like you know, so like, some, like the Jackson 5 rendition of yeah like, or they'll baby, or they'll, they'll like do this big like reveal or whatever like this big event to ask somebody to go to prom. And so it's really interesting. And like it, to the point where I think now it's kind of become like, this is what's now expected of you. You can't do, when I went to prom, the girl asked to go to my senior prom. Like I saw her between classes, like, hey, uh, you want to go to prom? And we went. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. There was no like making signs and trying to be super creative and like, like getting it like halftime at a football game and getting the band to hold up the sign, you know. All this crazy oh kind God. of yeah, it's insane. The, it, the stuff you see, the, but the thing is, is that you saw it. Is that well, what the well, popular, yeah. are the popular kids doing that? Like the, the homecoming king type people? I, I mean, I don't. I, I'm not in high school, so I don't know. That's a great question yeah. for a high school kid. Are they paying the band or something? Well, like because like I don't see like the nerd from geometry doing that to, inv but I see like the quarterback of the high school football team doing that to the head cheerleader because they're both like high status people in the high school. That could be a thing. I don't know. I, I don't that, know. That's right. But I mean, like I the recent one I saw was like somebody like had had the police like the local cop get involved and arrest like the person and then like and then like it be, then like somehow it turned it into a will you go to prom with oh me my kind God. of like it was like it was it was coordinated oh, so it was like a trauma they created a yeah trauma like here's person. trauma let's go to prom yeah. oh um, you're being falsely arrested for theft hey, hey prom time get yeah. it so like i've definitely seen where kids will get a poster board or something like that and make like you know like put some decorations Sarah on Jane, it will you date me yeah and you wait yeah. outside with like a group of her friends or your friends or you know you release balloons or some shit like that seems all right i don't i feel like if we had social media in our day we would have done similar things right if, Cause, I mean, well because once the first one does it then somebody tries to top them right like oh i gotta top well, you now the funny thing is it escalates yeah. Because it's like gender reveal. It used to be just like a blue cake or a pink cake. Right. Then it's like people setting off explosives and injuring their family. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got to have some tannerite. Setting in fire to stuff. <laughs> you yeah. Need tannerite. Got to have yeah, tannerite. You got to like set off fireworks. And you like, need explosions yeah. with your reveal. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, so it's just going to keep escalating to the point where like people are going to be like assaulting teachers and spelling their name out and they're back in blood or something. <laughs> that's do you, do you that's think, not... it, do you think it's too much for a teenager? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, what I think, I, I look at it as like, like, all right, like, well, I, so I look, let's, let's talk about nerdy band kid for a second. Okay. If nerdy band kid thinks, crap, I got to do this whole like public display to ask somebody to, to yeah. prom, I'm just not going to go, or I'm just not going to like go to homecoming or I whatever. I don't think this is the, the status quo. I don't think this is the norm. I think this is, this is maybe outliers though, right? I don't know. I think it's closer to stay. I mean, okay. I think doing something more than just like, Hey, okay. you want to go to prom? I think, which is what I did. I think I think something more than that is now expected. Do you know what I think it is? I think it is soccer moms 
convincing their kids to do it so you, they can post it living on their vicariously social. yeah look at what that's little actually, johnny did to that's ask actually little susie to pro- that's yeah good. and she's like i'll pay for it. i'll help you do it let's do, let's organize it. and the kid's like because, Mom, I just because, I, ask Sarah because i'm really bored and don't get out much so i want to do this huge thing so i can show it to all my friends and, okay. yeah. look what johnny did for sarah really look what i did that's yeah. one way that's one way of thinking about it and i think of it like this if you did that for a girl and you were i don't know you were in your 20s and you did Excuse, something. Wait, hold on. I'm just I'm putting it there because I'm going somewhere with this. You're doing this in your 20s. You did okay. something that extravagant, that beautiful, that special from a girl, for for a woman. Um, do you think that you might get lucky that night if you did something that extravagant? You had oh, the you think band, they're doing it because the boys want to get. You had the get UT. High band well, that's the thing. Like, that, if that's now the standard of what's expected to get laid, then I guess yeah. I wouldn't say it's but, the standard, but it would definitely make a young. It it would, if somebody did that for me, they are getting. Let laid. me ask you a question, Jonas. You were married before. Oh God, don't when, cry me. When you when you proposed, oh, stop. did you have a whole thing? Oh God, no. Or did you just like, hey, you want to get married? Basically, yeah. okay. That's what you, see, I did more of a thing. What? I did more of a proposal like thing. Like I had like a scavenger. I did like a whole scavenger hunt. You see the shit? Oh no, I did that. But that's like for a proposal. Did you get laid that night? No. Was it like come on extenuating circumstances? Or well, yeah, it, her it was fam- on the table. We met her whole family at dinner that night. I and, mean, yeah. So no, it you was- do that for me. We're fucking in front of my family. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, you we're no, that for me. We're in front of my mom. We're also mom no, I'm sorry. We're also no longer married, so I don't know what to tell you. Well, but, yeah, I'm not either, so it doesn't yeah, matter about which that. end of the spectrum. Yeah, it didn't, yeah exactly. <laughs> it didn't didn't Losers. really matter. But it was the idea of like if you just showed up with a ring, it would have been like, oh, that's kind of a letdown. It, I agree. So I think that when you do something special for a a woman, yes, it thinking from a man's point of view because i feel like majority of the things that we do are for women yeah we dress night so that we we get the money in the cars and the homes and everything so that we can attract more women speak for yourself i always look this good i mean yeah obviously you do it for yourself but part part of you is like i can get a higher caliber of woman if yeah, I yeah. Do higher mm-hmm. caliber. If, I, if i take a shower exactly yeah. if i can take a shower i get women who can smell use some stinky spray whatever. Exactly. Yeah. so i think that these kids are using this as fodder or as a way to get into women's pants I, and in teenagers case yeah i don't disagree i think but i think it has more to do with the social media like oh, like yeah. like factor yes. how many how many because because they, they really do live off these likes at this age so let right? me show you an interesting one i'm not going to put this one on the channel you can go ahead and read it off yourself this is an interesting proposal is this the cotton one? Yeah, I, I've actually seen this. I almost brought it up. Well, but go ahead so and read it out. It's it's a it's a young Caucasian boy and a and a nice uh, young black girl. And it says, "I know I'm not cotton, but will you pick me for prom?" And it has cotton balls <laughs> oh, all around it. Oh my god! This is one of the craziest ones that, I've ever seen. That's where life. a kid doesn't is not aware of the level of racism that's involved in I that. Mean, I mean, it looks like she's going with him. though. she looks happy. It's, uh, yeah, his, his, it, her, his uh, uncle probably told him to do that one. You'll be real funny, boy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you do that one. Tell me we're gonna be doing something else in front of my family all right <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be getting fucked in front of my i'm gonna fuck you in the ass <laughs> yeah all right but yeah i Dude, don't know i'm insane i think that in like in its nature it's, it's pretty harmless it's like honestly it just make these girls feel better i don't know if that's necessarily like a good thing to give them that idea of like this is what the status quo needs to be in the future for me for other like partners that i choose yeah. it's kind of bad um but I don't know. It seems I, I'm against anything that levels up the expectations any higher than they already are. Oh. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, well, look, I'm already doing all this. I got to pay for all this. I got to do it. Like, and like, you got to make now. Now I got now I got to do a proposal every time I take a crap. It's like, Dude, it's it like, is. It's really that it has become like exploitation culture show off everything you can oh, yeah, everybody so. has to be it's like anyone you can't just be a normal person anymore because of social media you can't just like be a normal person and be like hey do you want to go out hey do you want to like just go to like a normal restaurant and eat and go hey you want to go to Chili's and eh, you're out go do like whatever you can't go. take a girl to Chili's no. everything can't is go like Chili's. how much can you throw money at me or throw money at this thing but i I look at it as if you're a teenager you don't have a lot of money so it's all about like your connections your friendships and what you can get together to do that type of thing i can't like necessarily buy her an expensive gifts or anything so you gotta so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna Get a bunch I'm gonna of I'm gonna make an overtly racist board and I mean, hold it up. <laughs> well, this kid is he's obviously lost his way. Hopefully, he realizes <laughs> that that was bad. But the, like in general, I I don't know. I don't see a problem with it. It it is a little bit crazy. 
Um, yeah, that at people, 13 years old, you're like, oh, or, you know, well, 15, 16. Well, like, let's take that kid. Like, that kid felt like he needed to do something mm-hmm. funny mm-hmm. to get that girl to, like, oh, yeah, to hilarious. ask her to prom. Hilarious. And so he thought that was the good idea. He, you know, clearly he kids did. lost his way. But <laughs> he, he, but he still felt the need. Again, yeah. he didn't go up to her and be like, hey, you want to go to prom? Like he didn't do that. He he made part. this sign and presented it to her in some public fashion. Yeah, well, right. right. And I thought the wildest part is that she said yes. Yeah, the fact she said, well, maybe and she, then no one else was like, "Bro, what is wrong with you?" Uh, yeah, she's she's probably one of them black people. Wow, They're, they exist, man. <laughs> Damn, people say I'm borderline. So <laughs> Jesus, <Christ>. I'm just saying. <laughs> Are you calling her an Uncle Tom? No, right now? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I've been called an Uncle Toe before. Never the whole. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Oh, I've not heard that. Lord. I'm sorry. On that note, it's Uncle time. Two. That's all the Uncle time two. we have for today's uh, podcast. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT and. This took a turn. Mr. X. Yeah, we out.